is to turn a slide rocket slide into an appropriately formatted APA references slide. So you can see that I'm using a standard template and that I've already inputted uh, three different entries, um, two of them from a research database and then one that's actually a video file um, that has a hyperlink. So the first thing that I want to do is to show you how to adjust the spacing uh, so that when you do go to add in your hanging indent, um, you don't have any difficulties. So the first thing to do is to highlight all the text in the box and then you'll click here on the side, go to spacing and you'll notice um, that most of the spacing is set at sort of zero, um, but right here there's this pesky paragraph. Um, what this is is when you do a hard return and you start a new paragraph, if it's going to add any, in any extra space. This is generally where the problem occurs. So if you just turn that to zero, um, notice what it's going to do now is pretty much just create for you uh, the equivalent of single spacing. Now that you've got that done, you can go back into your, um, into your references box. You'll click back to font here on the right. And um, what you'll need to do is the second line is what needs to be indented in APA. So what you can do is hit a hard return. Um, you won't see me do it, but I did. Um, and I'll do that on each entry that I need it. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll go back to that first one and I'll hit um, this button here, which is going to increase the indent level. And if you notice when I hit it, it's going to bump it over one. Um, I would probably do a few. Um, it really needs to be five um, lines, excuse me, five characters in. And so um, this is just pulling that indent over. And you can do the same thing. I'm doing four um, just to give it a nice clean look. And notice as I do that, it's adjusting the other lines. Basically what you've done is you have um, sort of a, a top header line and then below it you have the sort of indented uh, running list. And so that's a pretty easy, um, an easy thing to do. If um, you want to duplicate this slide because you need another references slide, you can just come down here on the bottom, right click, um, and you can hit duplicate and what it'll do is um, it will just make another another slide for you with the same um, spacing the same formatting so if you needed to come in and um, add some more it would automatically do that for you um, so that all you'd have to do is just hit that hard return um, and then one two three four and that's how you'd format them um, another thing that uh, you can also do if you want to hyperlink um, like in this Skype entry here, there's a video. If you just highlight the entry, I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go to Tools, Hyperlink. And I want to turn that into um, an actual, the ability for someone to view that video live from clicking on this link. So I'll click Open URL, leave, check the Open in New Window. That way um, they don't disrupt the, the slide rocket itself. And then come in and you can paste that URL click OK, and now what you're going to get is that, that gray link. Generally what I do though, um, to stay within formatting, I'll go back, I'll highlight it, I'll change the color back to my standard, um, and then take the underlining off. So it's there, and if somebody wants to view it, they can. Um, what you can do, going back to the tools, is do a hover tip and say something like, click to view the video something like that. And then what happens is when somebody hovers over it, um, it will show them that click to view the video. And let me do a, a short preview for you um, of this slide so you can see it in action. Easy as that. 